The Walking Dead, Issue 122, All Out War, Chapter 8. Dwight, lock this room up. Check on all the others. Make sure they're not doing anything stupid. If I'm not balls deep in a wife in the next few minutes, I'm going to turn into a fucking pumpkin. <laughs> I'll see you boys in the AM. I'll, uh, uh, good night. Time to get your beating in. Bring it on. As long as my mouth is free, you know I'm still dangerous. You finish pretending you ain't scared as fuck? Not pretending. Yeah, sure, whatever. I take it Rick didn't fill you in, but I want Negan dead more than any of you. I'm doing everything I can on the outside to help out. So don't try anything stupid and get yourself killed. I think I can get you and the others out of here. Like you did with Holly? I tried. There wasn't an opportunity. Like there isn't an opportunity to sneak in while Negan is asleep and put a knife in his eye? If you'd really turned, this would be over. At best, you're playing both sides, waiting to pick a winner. I get free. I'm going to take you out from behind. You'll never see it coming. You'll go out like Abraham did. Only I'm thinking there won't be as many people out there who give a damn. I'm not trying to say that I'm a good man. Or that I regret anything I've done. Or that I've changed. I'm saying I want what you want. Right now. I just wanted to give you some reassurance so you didn't piss yourself too much. Trust me, I get a chance to put a knife in Negan's eye, I'll fucking do it. I'd kill that motherfucker today if I didn't think these people wouldn't take my head for it. I had a question for you, Dwight. Then ask away. I'm through here. I was just- I heard it all, Dwight. For a chance to be my own man. For the opportunity to see my brother again. For a life where I don't have to worry about having my face melted with an iron. I don't care how good our lives have been. I'm with you. And I'm pretty sure there are others that would be too. Well, I predict you run out of food in six days, tops. It's a lot of people, huh? Indeed, it is a whole lot of people, a whole lot of mouths. Much more than we've got food for. My son's going to have to compete for food now. Gonna have to eat it up before someone else gets to it. What's going on out there? What happened to them? What did you expect me to do, Brianna? Whatever you think is best for us. You're in charge now, remember? Don't say that. People will start to realize that. Then, everything will be on me. I'm not in charge. Honey, you decked Gregory. Knocked him right on his ass. Then you start bossing people around. You let us out of here, and you let us back. It's official. You're in charge, and everyone knows it. No one else wants the job. We'll let anyone but Gregory do it. So congratulations. I'll let you slide on the food situation because I trust you know what you're doing. But don't forget what you said. You believe in Rick Grimes. Well, hopefully by the end of all this, we all will. Then, 
I'll believe in Maggie Green, too. Comfortable? I will be when the sun's up and no one has attacked us yet. Carl asleep? <laughs> no, of course not. I don't think anyone is sleeping tonight. Not for any length of time, at least. Too much going on. Well, what about you? Me? I've got a lot of planning and strategy that I'll have to do tomorrow. I need to get plenty of sleep. Luckily, I'll be out like a light in no time because I'm going to curl up next to you. Right here. Where I know I'll be safe. What about Carl? <laughs> He's going to fall asleep reading a book. He won't be looking for me. Okay, honey. If I see anything, I promise I'll wake you up before bullets start flying. I'm better now. I've been in my own head. Full of myself. Full of shit. For a little bit. But it was only because of my grief. Still, I want you to know that's over. I can fight. I have to fight. My people depend on me. And I don't want anyone else to suffer the kind of loss I have. That's worth fighting for. Fighting through this for. I'm better than this. What you've seen these last few days, that's not me. Not really. I don't even know how you put up with me. You're strong. Stronger than I could ever be. I don't want you to lose respect for me because I was weak. This was just a practice run. I'll do better tomorrow, when you're awake. It's amazing work, really. Not flawless, mind you. But given the tools available, and the rate at which you were losing blood, <laughs> you were very lucky to be alive. Is it true she'd been bitten shortly before performing the surgery? Yeah. That's simply amazing. It makes this all the more impressive. I like to think my dedication to the well-being of others would allow me to perform in an equally heroic manner. But I'd be mostly full of shit if I were to say that. You never know until you know. Am I right? Right. Well, I'll get a clean bandage on here, and I'll send you on your way. Sorry it took so long to get to you. I tried to move as fast as I could. It's okay. Tell me, Heath. Did you know this woman well? Dr. Cloyd? Yeah. We were. Together. Oh. I had no idea. I'm very sorry. Worried about Eugene? And the others. Isn't everyone? Yeah, but I know you're a little sweet on that guy. You don't have to hide it from me. This ain't high school. You're not less cool for liking the fat guy. Hell, I do it all right. Yeah, good. Congratulations. Listen, Olivia, can we catch up tomorrow? It's late and I just... I want to be alone with my thoughts, okay? What? Sure, yeah. Okay. I hear you loud and clear. Sorry to intrude. You look sad is all. Thought I could cheer you up. Good night. Come in. Oh, hey Alex. You've been away for so long, barely staying a day when you come back. I feel like I haven't talked to you in forever. And I have to find you here, get time to have your nose stuck in a book when you could be. I know, I'm sorry. I've got a lot on my mind. But she's not in the mood. Will you read to me? I don't care what it is. I just want to hear your voice. Come on in. But don't think I don't know what you're doing. The Ever Willie Paul Monroe. We'll never get one over on him. Good morning, saviors. Thanks for gathering for me so early today. Look what we have here. Uh, I know it seems fucking crazy to have these undead fucks inside the walls, but these beauties 
are the linchpin of our war plans going forward. Believe it or not, these things are gonna help us win this fucking war. You all know how this shit works. You get a bite, you get any kind of wound from these things, something from them gets in you, and you fucking die. We're all infected. We all have this to look forward to when we die. We know this. But for some goddamn reason, one of these things bites us, no matter how minor an injury it would otherwise fucking be, the fever sets in. That fever burns us the fuck out, making us one of them faster than we'd planned to be. Which fucking sucks. That's the dangerous world we're living in. But we're gonna use it to our advantage. You see this? Look at it. Watch how I'm just getting in there, rubbing all up in its grill. Lucille is getting to know this sorry sack of dead flesh. Sorry, Lucille. Yeah. Yeah, nasty girl. Now look at this. The new and improved, better than before, all awesome and absolutely fucking lootly deadly Lucille. I don't have to crush your head or pound your face through the back of your skull with her anymore. The slightest touch from Lucille, just a kiss. And she's left her mark. We're gonna do this with all of our weapons. We're gonna gunk them up. We're gonna have some space age zombie bacteria weapons at our disposal. And we're gonna kill every fucking last fucking one of these ungrateful fucks. Load them up and let's hit the fucking road. Morning. Well, that might be the best night of sleep I've ever gotten in. As long as I can remember. Damn. You sleep at all? Couple winks here and there. After my shift was over, I didn't want to wake you to move inside. You were out cold. <laughs> it was pretty cute. <laughs> I'm sure it was. But I need you bright-eyed and bushy-tailed in case of a prolonged attack. Head inside and get some shot at it, soldier. Check on Carl on your way, okay? Of course. Saw you out here, working all morning. Ready for some lunch? It's lunchtime already? Guess I got lost in it. You gotta keep up with the man. Everyone needs something. I'm certain I was introduced to you last time I was here. But I've already forgotten. Earl something. Not a day goes by without someone saying something rather kind about you, Mr. Grimes. <laughs> Just call me Rick. This all blows over after the war ends. Think you could whip me up something for this? Let me get your measurements. I can make something for you. Absolutely. I mean, you bring a man lunch, how could I not? Open the gate! Open the gate, they've made it! They're here! It feels good to have all my people back in one place. You were right to want to consolidate our forces. That was a good call, Rick. For now, it makes sense. Our forces are strongest when we're united. While having one central place to defend seems easiest, it's also not wise to have all our eggs in one basket. My hope is that we can take today to reassess our capabilities, reorganize our forces, do an accounting of our weapons, and prepare for what's coming. When Negan forces attack, and I know they will. We need to be able to outmaneuver them. What do you have planned? I'm prepared to do whatever you require of me. If all goes according to plan, there won't be any need for a grand sacrifice, if that's what you're getting at. Jesus was telling me about a place about half a mile from here. Right down the road, a small town, a few shops, a bunch of houses. We clean it up for supplies, not the worst staging ground. Right. I think it'll be a good place to move our most vulnerable people. Keep all the buses there, keep them mobile if need be. Beyond that, it'll serve two purposes. It'll be a staging ground. We keep a third of our forces there to outflank Negan during his attack. It would also be a rendezvous point if Hilltop falls. 
I just want to be prepared for the worst. All we need is time. It's going to take at least another day to set this all in motion. Let's hope Negan and his men take longer than that to come after us. We attack at sundown. 